So when it comes time to buy an impact driver, there's a lot to consider and they are very expensive. So which brand should you buy? Today we're going to be testing four different brands, Milwaukee, DeWalt, Makita, and Bauer. In the first test, we'll see which impact driver makes the most torque. Not all the impact drivers will survive the second test when they attempt to drive a 7-inch lag bolt into a railroad tie. In the final test, the impact drivers will be doing a face plant onto a concrete slab after falling 10 feet. At a price of only $69.99 for the tool, the battery, as well as the charger, is this Bauer brand 20-volt Hypermax lithium impact driver, which is sold at Harbor Freight. And like the other brands, this one also includes a battery as well as a charger. High performance motor covers the most demanding fasting jobs. We're going to test that. Max torque 150 newton meters or 1300 inch pounds. RPM 0 to 2900. Impacts per minute 0 to 3300. The Bauer brand comes with a 90 day warranty, so it's heavy duty guaranteed for 90 days. The tool is made in China. The largest battery sold for the Bauer brand is only 3 amp hours, but the impact driver does come with a 1.5 amp hour battery. Cells made in Korea or Malaysia. Further processing in China. The Bauer brand uses a brushed motor, while the other three brands we'll be testing use brushless motors. The Bauer impact driver weighs 1,151 grams without the battery. I'll be testing the other brands using 5 amp hour batteries, but the largest battery available for the Bauer brand is only 3 amp hours. The Bauer brand doesn't have a switch plate control pad, and there's only one forward and reverse speed range. The Bauer with the 3 amp hour battery weighs right at 1,789 grams. All the impact drivers we'll be testing use very variable speed triggers. In certain applications, such as starting a nut or a bolt, you'll want an impact driver that's capable of very low RPM. The Bauer wouldn't spin any slower than 130 RPM in forward. The maximum RPM in forward was 2,795, which is 105 RPM slower than advertised. In reverse, the slowest RPM was 155, and the maximum was 2,815, which is 85 RPM slower than advertised. The second least expensive product we'll be testing at $115.83 is this Milwaukee M18 Fuel. It's a brushless impact driver rated for 1,800 inch-pounds. The Milwaukee Fuel is made in Vietnam. The Milwaukee only weighs 989 grams without the battery, which is 162 grams less than the Bauer. With a 5 amp hour battery, the Milwaukee weighs 1,721 grams, which is 68 grams less than the Bauer. The Milwaukee has three impact modes. The Milwaukee has a feature designed for self-tapping screws and sheet metal. The setting is designed to reduce screw stripping, screw breakage, and damage to work surfaces when driving self-tapping screws. 0 to 1900 in first gear, 0 to 2800 in second gear, 0 to 3600 in third gear. Under load, 0 to 1200 impacts per minute in first gear, 0 to 3400 in second, and 0 to 4300 in third. In the high impact mode, the slowest the Milwaukee will spin in forward is 75 RPM. So the Milwaukee offers quite a bit more control than the Bauer, allowing for lower RPM. In the high impact mode, the maximum RPM was 3,577, which is very close to the 3,600 RPM rating. In the reverse high impact mode, the slowest was 75 RPM and the fastest was 3,550, which is 50 RPM slower than its rating. While the Bauer does offer a 90 day warranty, the Milwaukee seems a lot more confident in their impact driver by offering a five year warranty. Costing more than twice as much as the Bauer is this DeWalt brand, costing $150.87. Made in the USA with global materials. The DeWalt also offers Tool Connect, which allows you to use Bluetooth to connect with the tool. Inventory management, find and locate, monitor diagnostics, customize settings, brushless motor. The Milwaukee offers a five-year warranty, and the DeWalt's warranty is for three years. The DeWalt is the lightest impact driver yet, weighing in at 953 grams, which is 36 grams less than the Milwaukee. Since the DeWalt's battery weighs quite a bit less than the Milwaukee's, the DeWalt only weighs 1,583 grams with the battery, which is 138 grams less than the Milwaukee. The DeWalt switch control plate includes three impact modes, as well as a home button. The home button allows you to use Bluetooth to connect and configure the impact driver, such as the RPM range, as well as quite a few other features. Went into the app and disabled the tool. As you can see, the tool is no longer working. I'm going to go ahead and re-enable it. Okay, it's back in action. You can also use the app to check the temperature of the drill. If you want to identify your drill amongst the pile of these DeWalt drills, these lights will light up, allowing you to figure out which one is yours. No load speed, 0 to 3,250 RPM. Up to 3,800 impacts per minute. Maximum torque, up to 1,825 inch-pounds. We're going to test that. In high impact mode and forward, the slowest the DeWalt will spin is 150 RPM, which is a little bit faster than the Bauer and twice as fast as the Milwaukee. The 3,305 maximum RPM was actually faster than its 3,250 RPM rating, but the Milwaukee was 272 RPM faster. In reverse mode, the DeWalt wouldn't go any slower than 150 RPM. 
The maximum RPM in reverse mode was 3,304, so forward and reverse speeds are nearly identical. At a price of $167.03, the most expensive impact driver we'll be testing is made by Makita. 18 volt LXT lithium ion brushless four speed impact driver. Just like the DeWalt, the Makita offers a three year warranty. So Milwaukee five years, Makita and DeWalt three years, and the Bauer is 90 days. The Makita is made in China. The Makita is by far the lightest impact driver at only 881 grams compared to 953 for the DeWalt. With the battery included, the Makita only weighs 1,501 grams. In addition to four speed selection modes, the Makita has several other features such as a wood mode which helps prevent a screw from failing at the beginning of driving. It also has a reverse auto stop feature that stops the rotation of the tool when the nut or the bolt begins moving freely. It also has a T mode for self drilling screws and thin metal. 3,600 max R RPM and 1,600 inch-pounds of max torque. Four-speed power selection. In forward mode, the slowest the Makita would spin is 99 RPM. The Makita claims to deliver 3,600 no-load RPM, but only reached 3,413. In reverse mode, the lowest RPM was 109, and the highest was 3,476, which is still well short of the 3,600 RPM rating. The length of the impact driver is a huge factor when it comes to working in tight spaces. The DeWalt is 135.5 millimeters or 5.3 inches. The Milwaukee is 18 millimeters shorter at 117 millimeters or 4.6 inches. The Makita and the Milwaukee are very close to the same length. And the Bauer is just too long for the calipers. And the Bauer is about six and a half inches in length, which is over an inch longer than the DeWalt and about two inches longer than the Milwaukee and the Makita. The Makita is on the left and the DeWalt is on the right. The DeWalt seems to produce a little bit more light than the Makita. The Milwaukee is on the left and the Bauer is on the right. Even though the Milwaukee only has one light, it seems to be brighter than the Bauer's three lights. I built the next test rig in order to measure the tightening torque of impact tools. It's a pretty simple setup with two 20-ton hydraulic rams sandwiched between two thick pieces of steel. The tester will measure the clamp load. I'll be using a premium synthetic grease throughout the testing. The test will last right at 15 seconds. The batteries are fully charged. We'll test tightening torque first, then the loosening torque later in the video. And the Bauer uses a brush motor and has a much lower torque rating than the Milwaukee, Makita, and DeWalt. And the Bauer made 900 PSI in forward mode. And the Milwaukee is totally crushing this test, blasting past 900 PSI without breaking a sweat. And the Milwaukee is out of time at 1,600 PSI, very impressive. And the Milwaukee is rated for 1,800 inch-pounds and the DeWalt 1,825. So according to the ratings, the DeWalt should win this contest. And the DeWalt did very well at 1,450, but that's not going to be enough to beat 1,600 PSI performance. Makita is the lightest of the bunch, but came in second place for no load RPM. And the Makita tied the DeWalt for second place at 1,450 PSI. So it's Milwaukee in first place at 1,600 PSI, DeWalt and Makita tied for second at 1,450, and Bauer in third. Up next, I'll install a left-hand threaded bolt and we'll test the reverse rotation torque of each tool. Since the Milwaukee just won the last contest, it'll go first in this round and we'll see if any of the other brands can do any better. And the Milwaukee is really crushing this test, blasting past 1,600 PSI and finally running out of time at 1,750. Very impressive job by Milwaukee. And the DeWalt is off to a great start and the dial is moving quickly, but 1,750 is going to be a challenge to beat. And the DeWalt did great, but came up a little short at 1,675 PSI. And the Makita is off to a fast start as well, but definitely not moving the dial as quickly as the Milwaukee. And the Makita is now in third place at 1,600 PSI. And the Bauer is definitely doing better this time compared to last. 1,375 PSI for the Bauer, which is actually pretty good, finishing in the fourth position. So once again, the Milwaukee Milwaukee takes first with 1,750 PSI, DeWalt second at 1,675, Makita third at 1,600, and Bauer last at 1,375. I definitely don't recommend using an impact driver to drive a 7-inch lag bolt into a railroad tie, but this is a showdown video. There's no time limit on this test as long as the impact driver is making progress. Since the DeWalt and the Makita seem fairly evenly matched, let's test them first. Both impact drivers are in high impact mode, and the Makita and the DeWalt seem to be making the the same rate of progress at first, but the Makita is beginning to outpace the DeWalt. At one minute into this test, the DeWalt is beginning to smoke and the grip is getting really hot. At a minute and a half, the DeWalt is beginning to make quite a bit more smoke and it appears that grease is leaking down from around the chuck. At two minutes, the DeWalt is smoking and leaking even worse and the Makita is now smoking as well. At about two and a half minutes, the Makita socket made contact with the washer. 
At about three and a half minutes into the test, the DeWalt made contact with the washer. The handle on the DeWalt is about 250 degrees and you can see the grease has poured down out of the DeWalt onto the adapter. According to the DeWalt app, the temperature of the impact driver is doing okay. The Milwaukee is on the left and the Bauer is on the right. Both impact drivers are in high impact mode. And the Milwaukee is a lot faster than the Bauer, but the Bauer is actually making pretty good progress. And the Milwaukee is definitely quite a bit faster than the DeWalt and the Makita as well. For some reason, the Milwaukee is shutting off and I'm having to release and then squeeze the trigger to get it going again. I'm not sure what's going on, but maybe the Milwaukee is just taunting the Bauer. Fortunately for the Milwaukee, there's no such thing as unsportsmanlike conduct in this showdown. Either way, it doesn't matter because the Milwaukee just finished and the Bauer continues to hammer away, but the hammer seems to be slowing quite a bit. The 3 amp hour battery should still have plenty of juice left. At a minute and a half, the Bauer was smoking badly and no longer making progress. The temperature of the Bauer is about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Unfortunately, the Bauer just did not hold up. Only one of the three lights is still working, and unfortunately, the rest of the impact driver has stopped functioning. So the DeWalt did slightly better on the clamp load test, but the Makita made faster work of the lag bolt. So let's hook them up head to head and see which one comes out on top. And it's very close, but the DeWalt is overpowering the Makita. Let's hook up the DeWalt and the Milwaukee and see how they compare. And the DeWalt put up a good fight, but the Milwaukee definitely came out on top on this one as well. The time it takes a tool to respond from the time the trigger is squeezed is called trigger lag. It may not seem like a big deal, but if you're driving in a lot of fasteners, trigger lag can really slow things down. Let's compare the Milwaukee and the DeWalt first, and then the winner will compete against the Makita. And the Milwaukee is a little bit faster than the DeWalt off the line. Let's compare the Milwaukee to the Makita. And the Makita is quite a bit faster off the line than the Milwaukee. So the Makita came out on top, followed by the Milwaukee and then the DeWalt. In the next test, we'll see which impact driver breaks loose lug nuts the fastest. All of the lug nuts were torqued to 110 foot-pounds. The impact driver that reacts the fastest and hits the hardest has the best chance to win. DeWalt is on the left and Makita is on the right. And the Makita wins the first round. Makita wins the second round. Makita wins the third round. Slowing things down even more, you can see the Makita delivered three blows before the DeWalt kicked into action. It took the Makita seven blows to loosen the lug nut. The winner will advance, so it's Makita versus Milwaukee. Makita is on the left and Milwaukee is on the right. And the Makita appears to kick into action about two blows before the Milwaukee. Just like last time, the Makita needed more blows before the lug nuts began moving. Milwaukee just hits a lot harder than the Makita. Just to switch things up a bit, Milwaukee is on the left and Makita is on the right. So once again, Milwaukee takes the win and it's three wins in a row for Milwaukee. The purpose of the next test is to demonstrate the ability of impact drivers to remove a lug nut from a bolt with gall threads or one that has been cross-threaded. We'll keep an eye on the green rope to count the total number of rotations in this 30 second test. The speed of the impact as well as the force of each impact will make a huge difference in how quickly it can rotate this engine with the engine brake applied and the spark plug in position creating resistance from the compression. And the DeWalt didn't have any problem overpowering the lawnmower brake and the compression of the engine completing just over three rotations. Testing the Makita next. And the Makita is making this look easy, spinning over the engine a total of four and three quarter rotations compared to just over three for the DeWalt. And the Milwaukee is totally crushing this test. Once again, Milwaukee began powering down about 16 seconds into the test. However, it had already completed five rotations and it completed two more for a total of seven before time ran out. In the final test, each one of the impact drivers will be doing a face plant onto a concrete slab after falling 10 feet. To make things more challenging, each tool will have a socket adapter and a socket attached to the chuck. One pipe will serve as a guide for the other pipe to help make sure the impact drivers hit at the same angle. And the bower hit hard and lost the battery. The electric motor is already damaged from previous tests, but there's no visible structural damage to the bower. And the DeWalt experienced a small amount of handle flexion, but didn't experience any visible structural damage. The DeWalt is still working. The Milwaukee is just a tank and didn't bounce much at all. The amount of handle flexion seems to be about the same as the DeWalt. No visible damage to the Milwaukee, and the Milwaukee still works just fine. And the Makita definitely experienced more handle flexion than the Milwaukee in the DeWalt. However, the handle did not break and the impact driver still works just fine. Up next, let's take apart the Bauer to see why the impact driver stopped working. 
and the impact assembly on the barrel weighs right at 261 grams. It looks like the bracket that holds the brushes in place failed. The brushes moved position, wiping out all of the fan blades on the armature assembly. So at this point, the Bauer is pretty much a brushless motor. The Milwaukee's impact assembly is 255 grams. The DeWalt's impact assembly is 27 grams lighter than the Milwaukee's at 228 grams. Even though the DeWalt was leaking some grease and it did become pretty hot, the grease doesn't look too cooked and there's plenty of grease left. And the Makita's impact assembly weighed 2 grams less than the DeWalt's at 226 grams. For the brushless impact drivers, the Milwaukee has the heaviest impact assembly. So which impact driver won this showdown? In my opinion, Milwaukee just ran away with this competition and did a terrific job. Makita and DeWalt were fairly closely matched, but it does seem like Makita is slightly better than DeWalt. All the videos on this channel are viewer suggested, so if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and look forward to next time.